This is a little overwhelming um, and totally wonderful. And I, I just learned, I love my residents. I just learned that this building was made for actors. It was built for actors because actors were such an unreliable, unseemly bunch. They could never pay their rent and they needed some charity. So yes, it's appropriate that I reside here. I'll give you the rent next month. Um, thank you so much, Alex and Bess and Winnie. I owe like everything to you. Um, Winnie and Bess basically raised me when I was a child and Alex is raising me as an adult. Um, and I just could not be in more exquisite company. So this is huge and wonderful. And I have some thank yous, of course. Um, firstly, I have to thank the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce and the city of Los Angeles. I have to thank my bosses and truly my friends now, Dana and Gary and Bert from Fox, David and Gary from Showtime. They organized this, they sponsored it, and they always go the extra mile to make me feel like my contributions matter to them. And they, of course, keep me employed, which is relevant. Um, my agents are here, Patrick, Rick, and Stephanie from WME, who are truly the best in the world. My manager, or eternal save the dayer, uh, Michael, who I met when I was 14. He has been my confidant and guide ever since. I love him very, very deeply. Cliff and Jamie and Alan, who keep my deals and points and dollars in check, so I don't have to think too hard about them. <laughs> Hence, the reason why I live here. Um, or would without them. Thank you to my publicists, Jody and Rachel, who make events like this seem smooth and simple to organize when, of course, they are far from that. Um, I have to thank my glam squad, Mateen and Peter and Petra, who make me look like I woke up like this. <laughs> thank you all so very, very much. Um, this is really cool to see, to see like my fans come here and cheer me on. That just means so very much to me. Um, and of course, my parents are here. Chris and Carla. These are the two without whom I would be doing something else entirely. Something I loved a whole lot less. These are the parents who moved across the country because their teenage daughter wanted to try acting. They came here so I could just try, just take a stab at it. My father, a New Yorker, drove me crisscross these very streets to auditions at any hour of the day, any day of the week. And he made it seem like it was no big deal. And my mom, <laughs> this is crazy. Um, she stayed with me literally every hour I worked, every single day I worked, and also acted like it was no big deal. But, of course, it was a big deal. And it will always be a big deal. I am well beyond fortunate for your willingness to believe in me. I love you. Thank you. I love you. I also have the most spectacular and rather attractive <laughs> husband, Hugh. And although he's not here because he's way too good of an actor and has a gig in New York, my life with him has not only made a beautiful son, but it has enlarged my heart and opened me up to roles I never would have taken without his encouragement. I have many, 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 many friends who turned out today too, who I love so much. Ariel, my bestie from the age of nine, flew all the way out here from New York. 
and so many others who fill me with joy and who make my so-called life worth living. This event today is really, really special. It's a brilliant Hollywood tradition and it's a wonderful symbol. It's a fantastic kind of perfect paradox. A star on the ground. <laughs> the celestial on the terrestrial. Because there really is so much high and low in what we do. We performers draw on our most common human everyday experiences and try to transform them into something thrilling and transcendent. We are artists, but we are also total hams. And if we happen to play a role in a story that is at all resonant or culturally relevant, we may have the privilege of being recognized and sometimes even lavishly lauded. But the truth is, the big secret is that we performers would be doing this on the street if we had to. We have always had the inexplicable, irrepressible, maybe even irrational urge to entertain. We've all done it our entire lives in our bedrooms, living rooms, showers. But that impulse to express ourselves only has meaning and value when we know we're doing it for an audience. It is the most important piece. And this star today is proof in the most reassuring way that I have succeeded in doing that. That I have made a connection that is real. That I was here and you were here with me. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Well, it's time to unveil the song we'd ask 